If you guys go to school, whether you're in pre-K, kindergarten, first or second, chances are your teacher has done the experiment with the caterpillar. The caterpillar gets a lot of attention because what does the caterpillar turn into? It turns into a butterfly. That's called a complete metamorphosis. A complete metamorphosis is when you have one thing that changes into something completely different. It starts as the egg, it's a larva, it goes into the pupa where the metamorphosis takes place, and out comes the adult butterfly flying around. Why does the caterpillar get so much attention? Do you know how expensive they are to buy caterpillars when all you need to do is walk to the local pet store? And for a dollar, you can get something that I think is so much cooler than a caterpillar. These are called giant mega mealworms. I'm gonna put the mealworm on my shirt, and you're gonna notice that this mealworm is pretty long. This mealworm is pretty cool. And this mealworm loves to dance. Look at this. Boink. And the reality is, this mealworm is right now in the same stage as the caterpillar. It's in the larva, which means he did not go through a metamorphosis, which means what is he gonna change into? And he's not gonna change into a butterfly. In fact, I'll tell you what he changes into when we're done building his habitat. Every living thing needs to have a place to live. And a habitat needs to have several things, water, food, and air, and shelter. Now, if you ever got a delivery of a sandwich container, or if mommy's ever ordered some Chinese food, why throw these containers away when we can turn them into a habitat? So, that's my home for the mealworm. Now I'm gonna give it food. What does it need? It needs oatmeal. And please do not cook the oatmeal. You do not want to drop your mealworm into hot oatmeal and the poor guy be like, nah, don't do it. Take some oatmeal. This is what they eat. This is their food. Cover the bottom of the sandwich container with just some oats. Now you need water. I do not think you want to take the mealworm into the bathtub with you like a rubber ducky, right? No. You don't want to open up the sink and put his head right underneath the water. Ah, no. Get an apple. Think about it. What is an apple? Apple is just water and sugar. So what you could do is cut out a piece of the apple, just like this, and then when I pull it out, if I squeeze the apple, you're gonna notice it drops of water, sugar, water. I take it and I lay it in. Now he has his water. Now he has his food. Now I'm gonna take out the mega mealworm, okay? And I'm gonna drop him in. This guy is now extremely happy. He's a larva. The job of a larva is just to eat and grow and eat and grow. And he's gonna eat his oatmeal, he's gonna drink his water. Now you wanna make sure that that apple always has juice in it. So if ever it goes dry dry, it goes bye bye or he will go die die. Always change your apple, close your container. I already made a couple holes in my container so that he has air. Now when your mealworm is exactly about two inches long, you could actually remove the oatmeal because that'll help him go through his metamorphosis and he's gonna fall back. And you're gonna be like, oh no, Fred's dead. But Fred's not dead. He's actually now in the pupa stage. And he's gonna start to look like a mummy. His arms come into his body. He's gonna turn extremely white and pale. Then he starts to turn really dark in color. And you know what he metamorphs into? A beautiful, shiny, black beetle. Now I know some of you are thinking beetles are creepy, but no, they're not. Ladybugs, those cute little red with the polka dots, guess what they are? Beetles. Fireflies that light up at night, guess what they are? Beetles. He metamorphs into an amazing, beautiful, shiny black beetle. And I think you guys should go to the pet store, go buy a mealworm, and do this amazing experiment, and watch something other than the caterpillar go through a metamorphosis. Music